up everybody so I've been wanting to do this for a while so I'm gonna start doing these uh, vlogs of everything that goes on over here at the shop in my house and uh, kind of give you an idea how crazy some of this shit can be to get done and work on and have around so I hope it's a good time and do a whole bunch more videos like this rundown on what's going on with our shop car uh, this is our drift shop car uh, commonly referred to as the death cart a lot of other people have that same name but this is just a cut down 240 that we shoved a 5.3 in with a t56 and everything like that everything's pretty much stock it's got uh, some coilovers everything like that Bucket seats, roll cage, fuel cell, roll, wall bro 255, external pump. Um, custom made all this stuff, all the exhaust. Yeah, power steering's leaking. Uh, we're getting ready to do a whole bunch of stuff on this, and we'll go from there once we uh, get some more parts for it. But that's a little quick rundown on this thing. And you can see. Custom did all this stuff, prepped it for a turbo. We made everything on it. We made the mounts. We made, made literally everything to stuff it in there. Made the drive shaft. So it's a pretty wicked little ride. Um, we got a whole lot of other stuff going on in the shop right now, but it gets a little crazy in here. So we gotta definitely take some time today to probably clean up. <laughs> Cause yeah it's not good yeah so i'm going to start doing probably daily vlogs of everything that goes on over here just because i think people get a little confused by what i actually do all day and me and the buddy who run this shop together um, we're both active duty military guys both air force guys over on mountain home air force base so we're pretty busy as it is and then once you start doing all this craziness, it starts to get really, really fucking busy. So I, I'm sure you can imagine. But yeah, I think it'd be fun and cool to have you guys kind of share the adventure that is our fucking house and our shop. Because <laughs> trust me, it gets pretty ridiculous. So first things first, if I'm going to start vlogging, I got to have a stick to hold this camera. Because I'm not walking around with this camera. Just pinching it and since we don't really buy a whole lot of stuff around here we end up making most of it you can't fucking buy a stick I gotta fucking make one so we're gonna do it Yay! Now we gotta clean it up before I can TIG weld anything to it. I think that'll be a good length. Yeah, that'll be nice. Nice little. Every time you need something, it's on a Every single time. And prep a piece of plate so that we can weld it out and have something to hold that camera on. Got a cool little piece of scrap I just found on the ground. If we clean this up though, it should actually work pretty nice as a little base for this GoPro mount. It seems to fit pretty well.
well, I shouldn't say good things. One of the things about TIG welding that kind of is cool and kind of sucks is you get good, really good results, really clean welds, but the prep leading up to those clean welds is pretty shitty. I'm not sure how much you guys know about welding, but that mill scale right there, that's not going to cut it. It's going to weld like shit, so we're going to go ahead and clean that up real quick. And we're going to borrow Chappie's gloves. We're not going to tell him, though. Most overbuilt GoPro mount ever. Right there. Yeah. Not bad. Now I got a nice little handheld, and I can actually probably get some decent shots out of this. Now, I know the GoPro is probably not the best way to go for vlogging, but it's probably not a real bad way to go, considering the wide angle and all the stuff I do. It's probably a lot of wide angle shots. Plus, good quality. And the newer ones have pretty good sound.